Hello everyone. I am Harshita and in today's session we are going to cover how we can configure system options and descriptive flex field in lease accounting. So first system options. We can use task manage lease accounting configuration for setting system options. We need to go to task manage lease accounting configuration and there we need to select search system option and specify our business unit as well if not defaulted and then we can set up system options. In system options we need to give general information like primary accounting standard, secondary accounting standard and other details related to amortization, numbering, approvals, payment processing and any other additional information required there. So this is how system options is set up and descriptive flex field for descriptive flex will we can use task manage lease accounting configuration descriptive flex field in the instance and it is used to capture additional information about payment term templates. So this is the concept of system option and descriptive flex field here. So what we will do, we will go to system option and we can see how system options is set up there and we will create one descriptive flex field as well. So moving to the instance now. So now after logging to the instance, let's go to settings and actions, then setup and maintenance, give setup financials, search for task, manage lease accounting, configuration. So here is the task, manage lease accounting configuration. You need to make sure that in scope your business unit is coming. Mine is US1 business unit that should come in the scope. Then just go to manage lease accounting configuration task. Here in select, you need to give, there are four options available, search system options, search discount rate indexes, search payment template and download upload configuration. We need to give here search system options only. Then here you can say by default US1 business unit is coming. If it will not come by default, you need to select your business unit or give your business unit here and then just search. Fine, so this result will come. My business unit is coming here, just edit it. Now it is a system option configurations already done here. Like business unit is coming, US1 business unit. Now what is my primary and what is my secondary accounting standard? As we already discussed that lease accounting is governed by both IFRS 16 as well as ASC 842. So what is your primary and what is your secondary? If you will give primary as ASC 842, obviously secondary will be IFRS 16. So as per your requirement, you can set primary and secondary accounting standard here. Then you also need to give item master. Then here you can see uh, ledger name is also coming that what is my primary uh, ledger and what is secondary ledger. Then here in amortization, amortization calculation frequency, you need to give like there are two options here, periodic or daily. I have given periodic or set up as periodic here. Then interest calculation method, daily compound interest is given. Then in numbering, auto lease numbering and auto asset numbering. If you want to enable this, say yes. I don't want it. That's why I have said both as no. So basically it depends upon the requirement or the system options configuration. Then uh, lease uh, transaction approval is enabled here and import preferences is also given and payment processing to sign invoice information payable integration has set been as yes. So this is the uh, system options which you need to set up here in the lease. Now we will go to creation of the descriptive flex field. So for that, We need to go to task, manage lease accounting configuration descriptive flex field. Now here, give name. So this is the name payment template descriptive flex field. Just select this and edit. Now, 
so to manage contacts and if you have already created something if you want to search just uh give the details here and search but we are as creating a new just click on this add icon now give display name here like i'm giving payment template descriptive flex wheel so context code and aip name already it has taken if you want to change you can change i am keeping this only then just save it when you will save this icon for adding context sensitive segments will get activated just click on this add icon here to add now I'll give here the name i'm giving the same payment template descriptive flex field code and aip name is already coming here if you want to change again you can change i'm not changing then give data type i'm giving character here then value set i'm giving 30 characters then you can see prompt and display type already is coming i want text box only so i'm not changing it it is text box only here after giving all this just save and close so this is how you have prepared it now again save and close and again save and close it. now as this configuration is done for the first time you can see deployment status is not coming anything here you need to deploy this flex field So say OK and it is the flex build gets deployed successfully. So this is how you can set system option and you can use manage these accounting configuration descriptive flex wheel to add any additional flex wheel or add any additional information like we have used payment template descriptive flex wheel to add additional information for the payment templates here. So this was all about it. Thank you.